بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكربنا بنور الفهم وافتح علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين My topic today is short talk about pulmonary sequestration What is pulmonary sequestration? It is any tissue, any lung tissue with out connection to the tracheal bronchial tree and we have two types it is intrathoracic lobar sequestration or intralobar and it is account it is about 80 percent and extra lobar pulmonary sequestration and it is accounts about 20 percent in extra in intralobal pulmonary sequestration usually the blood supply arises from the dist- lower part of the thoracic aorta in about 75 percent and the extra lobal pulmonary sequestration it is more common in the left in about 90 percent and it is found can be found in the mediastinum pericardium diaphragm above the diaphragm below diaphragm and in the retrobertonium and it is identification of the systemic arterial supply is not bathonomic bathor- Gnomonic for sequestration and can be from and can be seen in a chronic infection or a V fistula. Ultrasound really is a really well diagnosed diagnostic tool in, in your born infant sequestration can be associated with malformation, congenital pulmonary air airway malformation, CBAM or CCAM, bronchogenic cyst or diaphragmatic hernia, especially the extra lobar type. Here, this is a differentiation between the intralobar and extra lobar. The lower involvement there is no separation of the blora. Here, there is a separation from the blora in the extra lobar location. It is in the intra lobar in the posterior basal segment, 60% on the left side. On the extra lobar, about 80 to 90% on the left side. It is extra lobar more common in females. Arterial supply from the aorta and often large visit. And uh, from the extra lobar, in the extra lobar type, it is from the pulmonary or systemic visits, usually small visits. Venous drainage is the intra lobar to the pulmonary veins and the extra lobar to the azygous, hemiazygous portal or right cardiac, right atrium. For gut communication, very rare. It is common associated with for gut communication, uncommon associated with uh, anomalies in the intralobal, and it is common associated with uh, omen uh, anomalies like uh, cystic uh, congenital cystic adenoid malformation (CCAM) or uh, congenital hernia, vertebral anomalies, congenital heart disease, pulmonary hypoplasia, colonic duplication. Usually asymptomatic or 
and present in older child, and here it is in the usually in the infancy in the extra lobar type. Let us see some example. Here is a newborn with mass in the retrocardiac region located on the laterally posteriorly. One of the differential diagnoses is pneumonia, but and also, pulmonary sequestration cannot be excluded. The CT scan is soft tissue mass in the posterior segments and the left lower lobe and the left lower lobe and on the arterial uh, on the ultrasound we see oxygenic mass and it is a blood supply arising from the aorta and it is draining to the pulmonary veins. Here, this is the CT scan of the patient with a pulmonary sequestration. We see 90 CT scan is about 90% accuracy of diagnostic pulmonary sequestration. And uh, we see solid mass or, or, or heterogeneous mass, sometimes cystic and uh, maybe with cavity or air fluid level, sometimes associated with emphysematous changes. And we see the, as we see here, this is the mass with the uh, arterial supply from the distal part of the thoracic aorta and the draining veins to the pulmonary veins and the draining to the uh, left arterium. And this is intralobal pulmonary sequestration. The chest X-ray and the sequestration, we see uniform dense mass within the thoracic cavity or pulmonary bronchima and recurrent infection due to development of cystic area with sometimes with air fluid level due to communication with the bronchial tree. And the differential diagnosis include pneumonia, lung abscess, bronchiectasis, and infected bully. And here we see we talk of the obesity, and the, we should exclude uh, pulmonary sequestration and the differential diagnosis, as we said, pneumonia, abscess, infected uh, bronchiectasis, or bully. Here, this is another patient with um, mass lesion in the uh, basal segments. And it's a blood supply from the aorta as we see here. And here, this is the mass, and with its blood supply, it is bara, vertebral bara aortic and has large vessels. And this is uh, intralobal pulmonary sequestration. And this is my two arteries supply the intralobal pulmonary sequestration in this patient. Uh, thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilaik.